Happened around 8 o'clock this morning. The boy was walking with his mother in Fort Greene, and that's where we find Linda Schmidt with disturbing allegations about the person driving the tow truck. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Stephen Natasha. Well, first of all, it wasn't NYPD tow truck, but it was not a police officer driving the tow truck. It was a woman who is a civilian employee with the NYPD. I also spoke with the child's grandfather, and as you can imagine, he is just going through unimaginable grief right now. He has identified his grandson as seven-year-old Kamari Hughes. That wasn't an accident. That was carelessness. Antoine Hayes says the driver of this NYPD tow truck was speeding and on her cell phone when she hit and killed the seven-year-old boy on his way to school about 7.45 in the morning. His backpack and green scooter in the crosswalk where the child was hit. And she was paying attention, that baby was still being here. Why does she feel privileged enough to be on cell phone? According to the NYPD and witnesses, the 54-year-old driver made a right-hand turn from Myrtle Avenue onto North Portland Avenue in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. The child was walking with his mother, who also had another child in a stroller. The young child who was walking with his mother was struck. Um, the child went down, the tow truck operator stopped immediately. But witnesses say the driver did not stop until people ran up to the tow truck and told her that she had hit the little boy. And I just heard her screaming, saying, oh my God, he hit my baby, and my baby is dead. The Tenants Association president at NYCHA's Whitman Houses, where the family lives, wants the NYPD to pay for the child's funeral. We need the police to pick up the funeral expenses 100% for the parent. I think this is, you know, really more about how do we hold the NYPD accountable, number one, um, when they're in the wrong, and number two, um, how do we make sure that we have more crossing guards across the city? And we are back here now live, and you can see there is a memorial here. It's starting to grow. You can see candles and balloons, flowers, and little children's toys. Now, members of the community here, they are going to be holding a vigil tonight at 545. That's about 40 minutes from now. In the meantime, the investigation by the NYPD into this is continuing tonight. Back inside to you.